Ah, uh, all right there, mate. You're a sick <laughs> It's a good thing to be a sick thingamajig. I'm not even gonna say that word because you lot say it like it's bloody calling someone beautiful, but it, you know, I, I don't feel right. I can't be saying, hey, you sick Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different because I do plan to come to Australia at some point and I have a lot of people from Australia that follow me I thought I would learn some slang and see if I already know any of the slang So on BuzzFeed there is a list of different slang words I thought I'll go through it, record it, see if I know what any of it means and yeah, that's it and I, personally I think it would be quite funny because I'm sure you lot got some slang words I ain't got a clue about and I need to know all this stuff before I come so I know what's going down in the outback. Is that what we say? So let's do this. The first word is Bicky. Oh, we've got multiple choice. We've got multiple. All right, Bicky can either mean a dance, a biscuit, or a or breakfast. Bicky. Oh, Bicky. Dance? No, it can't be dance. Biscuit. Bicky. Breakfast. Bicky. Brecky. Brecky. Bicky. All right, I'm gonna go with biscuit. I'm gonna go with biscuit. Next one. Franga. Franga. Franja. Franja. Am I saying that right? Am I looking stupid right now? Franja. A sausage. A French person. <laughs> Condom. <laughs> okay. Hey, you got any more of them frangers? Frangers over there? I'm hungry. I don't know why I'm sounding like that. I should sound like an Australian. Um, hey, mate, you got any of them frangers? I want it with my mash. My frangers and mash. <laughs> oh my god. A French person? Good. Uh, hey. Look at that, he's that guy from France, he's a franger. I don't know what I'm saying now. Or it's a condom. Hey, did you did you forget to bring frangers? Frangers? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I'm gonna go a franger, a franger, or a franger, whatever you look, what a bloody call it, is a French person? <laughs> Pash. Pash. Alright, a pa pash could either mean kiss, drunk, or motorized, motorized, oh my god, I'm gonna leave all this in there, <laughs> motorized scooter. Okay, um, hey, give me a pash. Hey, ah, oh, I'm well, pash. Ah, oh, you're a pash, man. You've had too much drink. You better go home and get a franger. Or a pash, a motorized scooter. Pash, passion. Yeah, that's where my head's going. I'm going with kiss. Kiss. Moolah. That's mornings. Everyone know that. I'm going straight for the mornings. Young moolah, baby. I'm saying like that. I don't know. All right. Cactus. Very cheap. Someone who's really rude or broken. Cactus. Let's be logical now. A cactus is sharp and it hurts, and it's dry, uh, very cheap, you're such a cactus, someone who's really rude, uh, someone who's really rude, you're such a cactus, point, prick, oh, yes, cactus is someone who's rude, that's what I'm going for, my, my French. Uh, dunny, dunny, a toilet, I don't know, an idiot. Well, a dummy would be an idiot. A toilet wouldn't be a dunny. I'm, I'm, or I'm gonna go do a dunny. I don't know. There. Where, where's, where's, where's the water? Dunny. I'm gonna go with, I don't know. I don't know. <coughs> Tinny. An old car. Could be. A beer can. Could be. Having no money. Hmm, no. Tinny. I'm tinny. I ain't got no tinny. A beer can. Oh, you got one pass one and over there. Tinnies, mate. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. You wanna pass me over a nice tinny? Do you wanna have a little tinny together? We're gonna go tinny up. 
Did you get that six pack of tinnies? An old car. Look at that tinny. I'm gonna go with old car. I wanna go with beer can, but I think that's a trap. So I'm gonna go with an old car. A tinny is an old car. Chanda. Vomit, a drunk, an afternoon party. I think I've heard this one before and I think it is vomit. Chanda. Just sounds, oh, just sounds horrible, doesn't it? Arvo, an, av an avocado, a beer, or afternoon? Arvo, an avocado, an... You gonna eat that with an Arvo? Oh, it passed me an Arvo. Hey, it's the Arvo. I don't know. Arvo, beer, a beer, no. An avocado, why would you not just call it an avo? You know, you would call it an avo, an avo. If you're gonna say something smaller, you're gonna call it an avo, not an arvo. I'm going with afternoon. Afternoon. Sanga. Sanga, Sanja. Someone who's angry. It's got the word anger in there, but it might be trying to. Sandwich. Mm, or a soccer ball. Just because it's got the word anger in there, I'm going with Sanga. And they put the bloody S and they put sandwich to trick me. I think it's anger. Uh, someone who's angry. Oh, he's, he, he's really Sanga today. But why wouldn't you just say angry? Why you gotta make a whole nother word? This is a trick. No, I'm, I'm taking that back. I'm going with sandwich. Because why you would say angry? It's got less letters. I don't understand why you're gonna make another word that's got more letters for something it just makes no sense. Yobo. Yobo. Oh, I thought Yobo was like a homeless. A drop kick, a barbecue, going to the beach at night. Going to the beach at night. Yobo. It's like, is this like an Australian version of YOLO? This is like some YOBO, uh, which means a barbecue, a drop kick. Why would a drop kick? YOBO. Give him a YOBO in the balls. Hey, we're gonna go to the beach and make a YOBO? Go into the beach at night. Are we gonna YOBO, YOBO, and then give him a YOBO? I'm going with uh, YOBO, drop kick. I don't even know what it means. I'm going with a barbecue. Barbecue is a YOBO. Blunger. Blunger is either someone lazy, a cricket bat, or someone under 18. Blunger. Someone lazy? Um, I'm gonna go with... That's a right blunger. He's a right blunger. Lazy. Someone lazy. Grog. Grog, 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 an idiot, a hangover, or alcohol. I'm gonna go with grog. He's, an, he's a right grog. Oh, I've got a right grog. Oi, where's the grog at? I don't know. I am gonna go with grog, an idiot. An idiot. Grog is an idiot. Next one. Bonza. That sounds sick. Bonza. That has to be something really good. It's no, but really great. Number two is really great. That's... I would you... Oh, Bonza. Bonza. That, but I'm going to go a present, a mistake, or really great. I'm going with really great. But, but, bottle, bottle-o, bottle-o, a bottle, oh, you got a bottle-o, bottle-o can either be a bottle opener, a type of wine bottle, or a bottle shop. We're going to go down the bottle-o, hey, that's a nice bottle-o, or if you got a bottle-o, it's like really lazy, if it's bottle opener, and you're saying bottle-o, and you can't just finish opener. That's really lazy. Or just say, have you got an opener? 
You wouldn't say, have you got a bottle of? I don't know why I'm sounding American now. Hi, hi mate, you got a bottle of? You got a bottle of, mate? <laughs> My Australian is really bad. Oh, but, but I'm going with bottle opener, but if it's bottle opener, I'm not impressed. <laughs> One is oot, 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 oot. Is it oot? Oot can either be an ugly person, which is funny because if you add a C to the front, it's cute. A flatbed truck, a oot, or a toolbox, oot. I'm gonna go with a flatbed truck. Why would you have a slang word for a flatbed truck? Do you not use these flatbed trucks a lot of the time? I'm gonna go with an ugly person. I'm going to oot is an ugly person. That's if I'm saying it right. Cozy. 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 Co it's cozy. It's cozy, right? If I sound stupid in any of this video, I am sorry. So cozy is either a student, beer and lemonade, or a swimsuit. Oh my god, I forgot my cozy. Cos costume. Yeah. If it fit, if I think it makes sense, I'm choosing it. Swimsuit. I'm choosing a swimsuit. Clacker. Clacker is either a lighter, a butthole, or a TV remote. Why would anyone call their butthole a clacker? Does, who, who makes a clacker noise when they fart? If you make a clacker noise when you fart, you go get yourself checked. Or a TV remote, the clack, wouldn't it be the clicker? And the lighter would be the clacker. Clicker, clacker. Clicker, clacker. T a lighter or a TV, TV remote? Uh, clacker. I'm gonna go with TV remote. I'm going with TV remote. And that is it, that's all of the questions. I hope I've done really well. I hope I've done my Australian fans proud. If I got anything wrong or right, or if there's any mistakes you think I said or the way I pronounce things, put it down in the comments section. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, I could do something else similar as well next time. Um, yeah, so, world peace, thanks for watching, and shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.